welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying with us at Duffel Prema Foods, the makers of Indomie noodles. Notice the gap in the not appreciating youngsters below 15 who have done something heroic and amazing. Hence, they created Indomie Independence Day Awards. For the past 11 years, Indomie has rewarded 37 winners with a million naira scholarship each. This year is no different as three more children will be awarded in October. In the coming weeks on Your View, we'll continue to speak to past winners to share their experiences. Today in the studio, we have one of the past winners of Indomie Independence Day, Chibuyim Nakwe. He's an 11-year-old boy who saved his life and his mother's life from impending death through a lantern accident in their home. Today on the show, Chibuyim is here to tell us his bravery story. Welcome, Chibuyim. How are you doing? I know you're a bit nervous, so it's okay. There's nothing wrong in that. Um, before we have a clip to show what happened, but you tell me that day when the fire broke out in your mother's shop, okay. where were you? I was near our shop. You were near the shop? Yes. But your mother was inside the shop? Yes. So when you entered the shop, what did you see? I saw fire. You saw fire? Where? How? All over the place. Where, where exactly was the fire? At the uh, front of the shed. In front of? Shed. Uh, shed. In front of the shed? Yes. So did you see your mother at that time? Yeah, no. You didn't see her? We just saw fire everywhere. Yes. So when you saw the fire, what did you do? I went inside our shop and saw that the cause of the fire was a lamp. Okay. And I carried it outside. With your hands? Yes. The fire, wasn't, wasn't it hot? It was hot. And you carried it by yourself? Yes. So when you carried the, the, the lantern, what did you do? I ran outside. You ran outside. What did you do outside? When I ran outside, I threw the lamp away and, okay. and shouted for help. At that time, what was, what was happening to your mom? Fire was all over my, my mother's body. Fire was all over her body? Yes. So you ran outside for help. Who did you get to help you out? Our neighbor. Your neighbor? A male or female? A male. So you came in to help carry your mom. What happened to you? Did you get burnt or did you, nothing happen to you? I got burnt. Oh, you got burnt too? Yes. What part of your body was burnt? At my back. Your back? Yes. So your neighbor came and carried your mom off also? Yes. Okay, for those of you that really um, can't really picture, capture what happened here, we're going to show you a clip of what transpired on that day Shibudim is talking about. Watch this. My name is Chibu Aymoninakwe. I'm 11 years old. I am in basic six. Chibu Yim Nakwe is a young boy who lives with his parents at number 22 Egbu Street off Ngwa Road in Aba. This account is about how he saved his mother's life when he was six years old. According to the story, on this fateful day, his mother was trying to pour some kerosene into the kerosene lamp when it suddenly caught fire. But people around were not able to help. Chibu Yim was outside the shop when he saw how his mother was helpless, so he rushed inside the house and picked the lamp on fire and ran out with it outside to save the house from being engulfed in the fire. I was in the playing with other children and I saw fire burning in our shop and fire was catching my mother. I, I ran to save my mother's life because I love my mother. I did not want my mother to die since my father was not around. And I rushed to take the lantern and throw away. The fire started burning me all of them, all over my body. And many and other people run. I rushed to the Chukuma shop and was shouting the Chukuma, the Chukuma. And he took what and put me in my body and the fire left. And the Chukuma put me what and took me and my mother to the hospital. When my lantern is coming down, then I wanted to put crazy in inside the lantern. And in fact, I don't know what really happened. The thing just blew. Uh -huh. People outside even felt the sound of the this thing. Then the thing catch fire. Chibai came to rescue me. Then the fire also catch the boy. Then the boy was running out here and there looking for somebody to help him. 
nobody. Then everybody was running away. On that fateful day, I traveled home for my junior sister's uh, traditional marriage. So I was called on phone that my family had problem. They have a serious fire burn on them. That is only what I can say. Then I came back on the next day, being 31st of the same December, I met them in the hospital. On that day, all I was in my place, the opposite the uh, stop. When I saw him running from the shade, running with fire on top of me. So people were running, say, who is this? So everybody was scared and running. I was saying, I have to rush him. So what's happened? What's happened? He's shouting. They come, they come, they come. I have to rush over him and bring out water and pour him first to create that water. He said, my mommy, my mommy, my mommy. Unfortunately for the boy, some of the inflammable liquid poured on him in the process. So the fire spread onto him. So I have to rush down to the assured. So her mommy helplessly. So I have to rush to her mother. Clean the fire too on top of where the smoke was. The smoke had fed their stores. So I have to clean the fire and the best thing is to rush them down to hospital because they are helpless that and there's nothing I can do to them. Rush them to hospital. Where he spent three months for third degree bones on his body. The degree was very much at the back. The boy doesn't even know that he will, there will be a harm to him. He just did it to save the mother. What motivated me to save my mother? I love my mother so much. I don't want her to die. I don't want anybody around me to die. She boy is a brave boy. If not for him, according to what neighbor. Wow, that was a really, really sad story, but also a story of triumph. We have Chidubu um, um father in the studio. Dad, tell us exactly what happened when you heard the story about your wife and your son. Well, <clears throat> tell us what happened. Uh, when I heard the story, I felt so bad. But when I came back from village to Aba and met them at the hospital, that was the greatest shock that I ever have in my life seeing my lovely little boy dying. But he did what he did. Maybe he draws strength from God because I don't think my very self will enter into that fire to save my life. Hmm. But what this guy did surprises me a lot. And up, to this, up to now, I keep on thinking what happened. Even two weeks ago, he saved my house again from fireborn. The standing fan I have in the house, just Nepal brought lights. I don't know whether it's excessive power. Or Immediately, the fan caught fire. I wasn't around as well. He was the one who ran to neighbors. They all came and quenched the fire. The same chibo I am. Well, the lady next to you also has a story of um, saving herself and three children. Uh, I know it's not easy when accidents happen. But let me hear your story very quickly, madam. Actually, I was sleeping that fateful day. I woke up around past two, around past two in the early hours of the morning to go, go to the toilet. And I saw the fire, um, the fan regulator caught up fire. Everywhere was smoky and all that. And I had three kids inside that same room. So the first thing I did was to run to the, was it, is it the jail box they call that thing, where you change over. So I had to change over from, cut out all the electrical appliances and all that. And then I moved the three kids to the sitting room and then shut the door, opened the windows and all that. That was what happened that day, wow. actually. That was an interesting story. Let me come back to our little hero here. So it's been a few years now. I know you spent about a year in the hospital with yourself and your mother. How has it been with your friends? When you're with your friends and you remove your clothes, I know your back, you have the scars in your back. How do you feel when you're with your friends? Do you feel like you don't want to remove your clothes or do you feel embarrassed about that or the scars in your body? I feel bad for removing my clothes. You feel bad of removing your school of your clothes? Yes. Those injuries are still there? Yes. Um, Dad, let me just ask you this one question before we round up. Are there plans to help do some kind of a surgery to help with the scars in the future? Yeah, we have plans for that. I've been trying, I've been trying my best. Okay. I know God will see us through. We have plans. But the thing, the thing is gradually smoothing. Formerly, it was like that of uh, tortoise. You know, wow. skin. But now the thing is smoothing gradually. 
Thank you very much, sir. Well, we don't have to, we have to give kudos to Indomie Independence Day Awards because what they do is identify children that deserve recognition in different heroic acts, social bravery, physical bravery, sometimes intellectual bravery. If you have anyone, if you're a parent, you know any guardian or anybody who deserves this award, go to our website or their website, www.heroesofnigeria.com. We're not asking you to get in trouble. We're not asking you to do anything dangerous. We're just saying we want to celebrate those young people who are doing great things in their various communities. When we come back, we commemorate the International Youth Day. Stay with us. We'll be right back.